Hello, good morning. I'm going to have to stop here because there's high winds today. It's quite cold, but at least it's not raining. I hope you can hear me. I'm going to go off the road. Take off my bag. Uh, the walk's getting tougher. It's the fifth day. And today's walk is dedicated to the 137 Tibetans that have set, set themselves on fire, self-immolated for freedom and justice in Tibet. 137 people setting themselves on fire. It's shameful that the media or our leaders in the West are allowing this to happen. And it's happening and they know it. So we have to put more pressure on them for them to speak about this, not just raise concerns or press China about human rights because the Chinese criminals, they don't have any respect for human rights at all. Definitely not for Tibetans because they don't even care about their own people. Anyway, today's Wednesday, very special day, special day for Tibetans anyway, the Laka. And Wednesdays inside Tibet, for some years now, they've developed a very subtle form of protest. In those days, they boycotted numerous Chinese shops inside Tibet, and they, they buy at Tibetan shops and stalls. They wear traditional clothes and they speak Tibetan. So that spread also into exile, and it's really nice to see the Tibetan youth in exile making more efforts to retain their culture, speak their language, learn their language. It's very difficult to keep that going in exile, but they're making the effort and they're, they're doing a great job. Another reason why this day is special is that Germany, the country in which I'm walking at the moment, is blessed because His Holiness is coming today. He's going to be in Frankfurt, some of my friends, and a lot of non-Tibetans are going to be there. So I wish you all the best with that. Enjoy his presence and appreciate it and listen to what he's saying. And say a special prayer in his presence for the 137 Tibetans that have self-immolated for Tibetan freedom. <laughs> 